Hi guys, this is Sweet Pods Thrift in with another thrifting haul. So this past weekend, I went to rummage sale, thrift store, garage sale, and estate sales. So here's my haul. So I'll start with the rummage sale. So even though it's summer, there are times when it's still cold. So I got a simple little plain gray sweater. Then I got, my mom found this Divergent t-shirt, which I love the movie, so be cool. And I got this nice blouse. It's got a cool pattern to it for a dressy outfit. And then I got this crop top. And it says, uh... Hopefully I'll butcher this, but Je suis American, but it's a crop top, so that'd be cool for a summer outfit. And last, I got this bongo, a faux leather, sort of like a creamy color jacket, but I believe for this whole pile of stuff, I probably paid around $7 maybe, so that wasn't too bad. Next is the thrift store stuff. And first I got this belt. It is a Max Max Mara, I believe. It's Italian. It's the weekend belt. I thought it was nice. You can adjust it to whatever size you want it within the range of these three buttons. But it's just cool. It has a little leather part with a little canvas part on the rest of it. So that was cool. I got that for $3 because it was uh, a 50% off day. So I got that. And I saw this in the purse pile. At first I was like, I thought it was cool just because it's like a leather document holder. And it was listed at $6, but I, again... It was the 50% off day, so I got it for $3. And if you look right here, that's the maker, Campo Marzio. And it does say genuine leather right there. And it's just a simple document holder. I know some people use it as a clutch, but I thought I could actually use it for what it was made for. But I actually researched this. And I was shocked by how much they put it at because I'm going to show you something on my iPad. This is the Campo Marzio website and this is the exact same document holder. And if you see right there is how much they are pricing this at. $250 including the standard shipping cost but yeah I was shocked so three dollars that is a fantastic deal for three dollars so I got that and a little bit of jewelry I got from there were these simple sterling glass dangle earrings so I got those and I got this I think it's like a brass kind of a brass and tiger's eye necklace set it comes with the earrings which are right here but yeah I thought they were cute so I'll give you a close-up look at it so it's got a couple of tiger's eye alternating and then there's a circle tiger's eye it is marked NR and I believe it stands for Nancy and Rice they're a New York based company and they use a lot of tiger's eye in their jewelry so yeah and here's the matching earring I thought that was cute I think I got the set it was I think originally priced at five dollars and I got it for 30% off so yeah it wasn't too bad and now I'm gonna move on to the estate sales I went to. 
So first, estate sale, I got all this stuff. So let me bring this over here. So first, sometimes I buy rings at garage sales and I can't tell what size they are. So maybe I thought if I got this, I can somewhat figure ballpark range of the size of the ring. So I got that. I got this cute little first aid little pale thing and I believe that was a sterling simple sterling necklace it might need a little repair but I got that I don't know what I'm gonna use this for but it's cute and then I got this vintage master lock comes with the key and what was cool was I was rummaging through a sewing tin and I found this envelope and if you see right there it's dated to 1932 well there's no letter in it but what was in it was this which obviously did not come from 1932 because it's self-dated to 1972 but if you think about that I paid for all of my stuff five dollars which is all this stuff that's a good deal, plus I don't know if they realize that there's a $1 coin in there, so basically I got all this for $4. And next, I got this. It's a sealing wax kit. I believe it's from Hallmark, but it comes with a blue and yellow wax, and it comes with these seals. This one's, I believe, a turtle. Yep, it's a turtle. And I had two more, so that one is an E, and an, a bird, but you just screw that into this little wooden post thing right here. It just screws in on the end, so yeah, I got that. And then I was looking through their bolo ties because sometimes you'll find one that's sterling, and this is one of them. So let me see if I can focus in on that. So you see, it's a little upside down, but it says Rancho, maybe Alito, or Aledo, something like that. And right there it's marked 925, and Texco 925. And I don't really, can't really decipher what that says, but yeah. It's sterling, I believe it's a G, possibly, but I was just thinking about maybe converting it into a necklace, or I could just leave it as is. I don't know. I'll figure something out. And then, from the same seal, I got this. It's a cool vintage pin. I actually found this in the garage. It's a nice little pin. And it's got all its little crystals still on it. But yeah, I thought it'd be a nice brooch. It's very pretty. So yeah. And the thing I'm using right here is a velvet colored jewelry display. So I got that too. So all that was $5. Or 4 if you consider that I got a coin, a dollar coin out of it. So, and lastly from that sale, I got this, which is a homemade jewelry display. They used a lot of some vintage jewelry in there, some vintage pins or earrings. It's very cool. I thought that one in the middle is pretty cool because it looked like opal to the left of the green stone, but yeah, that was cool. I think they priced this at $15, so that wasn't too bad. So next, I'm going to go to the other estate sale that me and my parents went to, and that's this stuff over here. So first I'll start with a tray. I got three of these trays paid about a dollar a piece but they're cool because you can put rings in the center and whatever pieces of jewelry in each of these dividers 
I actually have another one, but it's different. It has just uh, rectangular sections for like necklaces and stuff. So the first thing I got was this cool knife. It's called an old timer. Not bad condition. I just got that because I tend to collect a couple of knives, some for my dad, some from uh, garage sales. And this is just a case of some stamps I happen to find at a state sale. So, I mean, they're not forever stamps, but they always come in handy. And all of this stuff, I believe right here, I paid about $39. So first I got these gold filled uh, rings for like charms, to hang charms on a bracelet or a necklace or stuff like that. So I got that, it's still new in box. And then I got this cool patch from 1963. And then here's most of the jewelry I got. Again, I got another vintage knife. So I got that. And I got this on a whim. I was like, I don't know what it is. It looks cool. This is Mark Sterling. If you can see right there has a marking on it but yeah it says sterling so i was like let me go buy it i'll figure it out later so i asked my dad later what the heck is this and he started laughing at me he's like that's a cigar holder and i'm like i do not smoke cigars so i don't know what the heck i'm gonna do with it but yeah, I was like, why the, why the heck did I buy it? I don't know, but I bought it too late now. All of these jewelry, all this jewelry, I had found, they had a jewelry display up front where the cashier was, but upstairs in one of the bedrooms, they just had a s piles of jewelry. So I assume they already went through it and, you know, got the most expensive ones, put them in the jewelry displays up front but surprisingly I found some good stuff in it too so first I got this bracelet it has a blue stone I'm, I don't believe this is gold I believe it's just gold tone I don't know about the stone itself I mean it could be lapis but I'm not sure but either way it's a nice piece this I was questioning because I, I wasn't sure, but me and my mom have come to a somewhat agreement that could be jade, but we weren't sure. It's some sort of glassy material, but I don't know. It has some cool carvings, too, all over it. But yeah, I haven't got that checked out. This, I don't know what it is. I was thinking it would be a bracelet for my niece, but she didn't want it, so. And this was a pretty good buy for me because while I was digging through the pile, I saw this, and it turns out this is a 10 karat bracelet, which surprisingly somehow got past the ladies up front who had been sorting through the jewelry. So, I got that. I have a lot of pins, so these things are, uh, you can use these to convert uh, pins or brooches into pendants. So I got that, and I believe the smallest one right there is sterling, it's marked 925 on the back. And then I found some more sterling pieces. And this one is the Arizona charm sterling charm still on an original uh, card these are just some geode slices made into pendants so I got those for I believe a dollar each this one was so cute I couldn't not get it it is like the smallest knife I've ever seen so yeah I thought that'd be cute. Maybe even to use on a necklace as a pendant. So yeah. 
And then I got this was another great buy. This is 10 karat gold with diamonds. And again, I was only charged about a dollar for that. So another thing that happened to slip past the ladies. And this is a sterling, as you can see, 925 right there. It's like a fairy necklace with a little crystal on the bottom. So yeah, on a sterling chain. And then this one is a pendant as well, and it's like a lizard one. So that was cool. And I found this brooch. It's like an enamel and sterling brooch with a little maple leaf in the center. It is marked right there, sterling. It has other maker's marks on that side, but I can't really decipher them. That's a nice enamel pin. So yeah, I got that. I got these Giovanni clip-on earrings. I don't believe they're sterling silver. I believe they're silver tone. But yeah, I got those. And then I found this it's either a bracelet or an anklet. It's more for me the size of an anklet. But it's a double heart anklet and it's marked right there, sterling. I actually found another one in the same room I was looking at all the jewelry. And it was a gold filled one. Same size, same look, everything, but just gold filled. And I said I didn't want it. And then last, I got this little chain link bracelet and a little gold filled heart on a necklace. I believe that's all I got from that. Oh, I got two more. I got this Lawn Bin Vintage Perfume. So yeah, I got that. And I also got this. It is a Givenchy vintage perfume as well, a little tiny, tiny perfume, but yeah, got that, made in France, so that's what I got from the estate sale, and, oh, one more thing I got from the estate sale was this cool North Face backpack, I don't know if they knew North Face is expensive, but they only charged me a dollar for this. And another thing they charged me a dollar for is in the North Face backpack. And I know I have so many right now, but again, two more knives, as if I didn't have enough, but I got two more. And this is a little dirty, but I don't care. I'll figure a way to clean it. But again, they only charged me one dollar. If you can start already seeing what it is, it is a Chanel scarf. So there it is. So I got that. I actually found this in the kids room of the estate sale. But yeah, I got that for only one dollar. So that was a steal. And so now I'll move on to the other stuff I got from the same estate sale that I got most of that jewelry from is what I got this from. So I got this scarf. I believe it has, there it is, it has a tag on it. It's made in Scotland by the James Pringle Weavers, 100% pure new wool in the Royal Stuart pattern. And while I was looking at that, I saw hats around and I found basically the matching, matching beret. 
also it is made in Scotland in the Royal Stewart uh, design also 100% new wool but this is by Ingalls Buchan so yeah I got that whole set I got another black beret from them also wool and I like vintage clothes so when I found this I was excited it is a vintage uh, Letterman's sweater so yeah I thought that was pretty cool I don't know what school this is from but evidently they played basketball and volleyball and that's the maker of it right there the year right so I got that I believe I only paid three dollars for that so now I'm gonna move on to garage sales so from a community garage sale I went to I believe last week I got this it's an old navy sweater with a fox pattern on the top on the front of it so I got that for I believe two dollars and if you watch my old videos my alma mater is UC Davis so I got these two uh, t-shirts the let's go ags and the UC Davis both for 25 cents each so got those and just today at the community garage sale that's nearby my house I got this hooded thin sweater it is an Armani exchange sweater and I only got this for a dollar so yeah that's what I got from today and here's another this is a I believe it's like a travel travel case for like a toiletry bag a vintage one uh, the lady only wanted a dollar and I saw the marking on the bottom which said coach and then I also had another marking in the top right there and then I saw the tag inside the coach tag with the coach print and so I paid her a dollar I found this purse it is a Betsy Johnson and I believe they only wanted two dollars for this so again I'm not gonna complain about that so I got the Betsy Johnson purse I don't know if you can see the inside it's like a jewel design so I got that and next I got this I love vintage luggage so my mom convinced me to get this one it is actually not one and not two but it has three like nesting luggages so there's three of them and it's Caros the carousel brand if you can see right there and the lady who was selling these only wanted three dollars for all three so I paid that and lastly is the jewelry that I got so first is this so I got this it's sterling and I think it's Mark Jelaine right there on the bottom like a Jelaine 925 so I got that necklace and just today is what I got on these ones so first is a sterling little necklace I got that this one which is a gold tone uh, necklace with a little green ball pendant and I got this as well and I don't know if you can see it Let's see if I can there you go but this is I don't know if you can see it but it's marked 14 karat so I got those three necklaces for one dollar 
And at another sale, I got this cool jewelry box for a dollar. It's made in Japan. But I like the vintage look to it. Another sale, I got this very pretty bracelet. It has like round, rounded gemstones. I can't can't quite figure out which kind of gemstone those are or even if they're real gemstones or not but I only paid two dollars for this and it is sterling it is marked right there if you can see the 925 it's upside down but yeah it has marking right there so two dollars and it's pretty heavy but it's a beautiful beautiful bracelet and then from the last sale I went to, I got these earrings. They're match right there. And right there, they're both sterling. This is marked bow sterling, and this is marked 925. Needs a polishing. But these two were in the same bag, and she said whatever was in the paper bags uh, <clears throat> was a dollar. So the little bag that these were in was a dollar. So that was a dollar. And one of the reasons I like digging is because you find incredible things. And this being one of them. So my last buy was this Tiffany & Company New York bracelet. It is marked up there to T & Company 925. So it's a beautiful, beautiful bracelet. And I only paid, again, this was in the paper bag. So everything in the paper bag was a dollar. So I paid a dollar for this Tiffany & Company bracelet. So that's what I got, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.